Aptera continues validation process for its solar EV. Aptera, a manufacturer of solar electric vehicles, started validating the teardrop-shaped design of its new vehicle in Pininfarina's wind tunnel in July of this year. According to the firm, more than 60% of the crucial machinery and tools required for producing the vehicle's body structure have been created and put into service since this validation stage started. Hello and welcome to Hypeno, where we bring you the latest news briefings and analysis on EVs to keep you informed. This hour in focus, we are exploring the validation phase of Ectura. But before we proceed, please kindly like and subscribe to this channel by clicking the bell notification feature below to help YouTube learn of your preferences and to receive notifications each time new videos are uploaded on this channel. Let's get started. Stamping dies and post-process tooling are included in the necessary equipment and will be used in Production Intent PI, builds that Aptura will use for additional testing and validation. Using a coordinate measuring device to check for appropriate thickness and surface tolerance, these parts will go through a thorough validation process. The vehicle's body will be made of carbon when the six major components are finished and certified. The entire structure will then be checked once more for tolerance of the body closures. The construction of an entirely assembled PI vehicle will thereafter proceed. When PI builds are being tested and validated, careful attention is paid to a number of crucial components, including the suspension, brake systems, airbag calibration, software integration, powertrain, and battery. The next stage of Aptura's validation procedure will be centered on safety and crash testing. The PI cars will go through a range of in-depth evaluations, including quality assurance, durability testing, and fine-tuning. According to Aptira, its manufacturing partner CPC Group in Italy is stamping and validating production parts for the PI builds. Equipment for the manufacture of solar panels and batteries is being sought out by specialists at the business's San Diego, California headquarters. After a busy summer promoting its impending solar EV by the same name, resilient startup Aptera is back with a thorough development update ahead of expected production next year. The business has updated its fan base via not one, but two videos, and things seem to be moving ahead very nicely. Could it be the first solar EV production to do so successfully? A decade ago, Aptera was on our radar as a pioneering EV startup. The Southern California car maker, now in its second iteration, is back and has come even closer to achieving the elusive unicorn in this young and unproven market. From beta models to gamma, we've discussed its progress almost every step of the way, earning state funds along the way. Aptera started an acceleration program with the release of its launch edition Solar EV, prioritizing deliveries to customers who have placed orders in exchange for crowdfunding to buy the necessary machinery to start manufacturing. Aptera continues to raise the money required to fund its body in carbon, bin C assembly process, through its current validation phase and beyond, with just over 500 of the 2,000 manufacturing slots still available. Our monthly updates, which frequently include co-founder and CEO Chris Anthony, have become routine, but the booming startup remained relatively quiet over the summer. In according with Aptera's most recent development report, it has acquired more than 60% of the necessary machinery and tools for producing its bin C. This comprises the most expensive parts of the production process that require the longest lead times to be ordered and delivered, such as stamping dies and post-processing tools, shown above. With stamping dies in place, Aptera is currently carrying out production intent builds as part of their solar EV validation process. These vehicles, which will function and appear like the solar EVs that eventually reach consumers, will be tested by the startup during the ensuing months. Before beginning the vehicle assembly process at Aptura's new factory close to San Diego, California, the following stage will be to build and validate all six body components into a full bin C and connect the front and rear subframes to the EV's structural battery pack. Aptura published the following video with graphics of those assembly lines in addition to the progress update you can see below. Thorough safety and crash testing, followed by fine tuning and optimization, will be conducted after production intent testing and validation in order to guarantee passenger safety moving ahead. 
Then, in order to speed the entire process, Aptera wants to validate its production practices for solar electric vehicles. There is no definite information on when production will start, but Aptera seems to be getting closer than ever, which is mostly due to the community of investors and customers who trust in its potential. For a $10,000 down payment, Aptera still has roughly 540 production slots for the launch edition solar EVs available. This week, Carlsbad, California-based crowd-funded auto startup Aptera Motors, offered an update on its solar-assisted electric vehicle, EV, but it hasn't yet given a solid manufacturing schedule. According to the automaker, the Aptera three-wheeler has enough power to outrun some sports cars, increasing range up to 1,000 miles in some models. Since Aptera is the first non-Tesla automaker to utilize Tesla's NACS charge ports, the vehicle will also be able to be charged conventionally. The business stated earlier this year that the vehicle has 40,000 bookings. The Aptera three-wheeler will have one engine driving each wheel at launch, producing a total of 171 horsepower and a 42 cup battery pack will give it an anticipated 400 mile range. Uncertainty exists regarding the vehicle's precise delivery date. Although Aptera stated in its progress report that more than 60% of the essential equipment and tools required to create the carbon fiber body shell of the EV have been completed and commissioned, the exact timing of the consumer release is still unknown. According to Aptera, tooling is already being utilized to make components for vehicles with a view to production that will be used for testing and validation. According to the business, this will involve fine-tuning the suspension and software, putting the powertrain through durability and efficiency tests, and evaluating the airbags and climate control system. Following this, the production line will be validated and crash-tested. Aptera has experienced numerous failures after the cancellation of a prior project 10 years prior. According to recent reports, the business appears to be the closest it has ever been to releasing its car onto the market. A pioneering report on autonomous vehicles has just been published by the self-driving car firm Waymo and the insurance-based company Swiss Re. A research agreement was established between Swiss Re and Waymo last year to establish a baseline for evaluating the risk associated with autonomous vehicles. The study has now made the data available to compare the safety performance of AVs with human-driven vehicles, and it shows that overall, AVs perform better than human drivers. In order to compare Waymo's third-party liability insurance claims data to Swiss Re's baselines, which were zip code and mileage calibrated, human-driven baselines were created. When compared to the baseline of 1.11 claims per million miles for human drivers, the combined data showed that the Waymo driver experienced zero bodily injury claims in over 3.8 million miles of driving without a person at the wheel. Comparatively, the Waymo driver drastically decreased property damage claims from 3.26 claims per million miles to 0.78 claims per million miles. While there is still a long way to go before self-driving cars, have the full trust of all segments of the